South Mississippi is known for producing great athletes. Since the turn of the century, combat sports have become a staple in this region, which can be credited to a number of people, but none more important than fighting legend Alan Belcher. I sat down with the former UFC fighter to discuss his career and how he has dedicated his life to growing the sport in his adopted hometown. So, Alan, you uh, have changed the dynamic of pro fighting, of fighting generally, MMA, boxing, down here in the Gulf Coast. But when you started, you didn't start here. So, what brought you to Mississippi? Well, way back in the early 2000s, there's only a couple of places that you could really fight in, in, uh, in our region, or I would say in the South. Um, all over the United States, it was really just Indian reservations and casino towns. So for, for the South, Tunica and Biloxi, Mississippi were, were kind of hot spots. So I had m lived all over the South and everyone was traveling here to get fights in. And that was even, even boxing and kickboxing. And what was outside of UFC at the time for MMA um, was here. After you decided to pursue it, what was the plan? Was it just like, all right, we're just gonna try, we're gonna try anything we can to get in and be professional? Um, I really didn't have a, have a, a long-term plan. I, the, my thinking back then was really, was very short. It was like, try to win as many fights as you can quickly to gain some recognition, to climb the ladder and start making money at it, really. So when I, when I had first moved down here, um, I was I was just trying to make ends meet and had a couple of different little odd jobs and and it eventually led to to uh, teaching martial arts. That was a, that was a way that I could kind of be involved in in what I was doing all the time, but still like make a living doing it. And and it it turned out pretty good because there wasn't really there wasn't any jujitsu here, Muay Thai, kickboxing, and and I had some experience in all these types of things. So I knew that investing in the kids, then in the future, it would be part of what they did. So if you, if you see the, the, the fighters that are coming out of the Gulf Coast now and, and the fighters that are in Biloxi and Diaberville and, and all this, like a lot of these kids came up in my program even as young as four years old. You know, so now, now these kids are, you know, teenagers and adults. Some of them are in their 20s and some of them are professional fighters that are doing very well. And they started way back whenever they were kids. Five losses. He's down 62 inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Biloxi, Mississippi, Alan, the talent, Belcher. You come down here, you're, you're teaching. When did you eventually get the call from the UFC to, <clears throat> to go fight in their in their uh, program? So 2006 was was a big year for me. I went on a, a nine fight win streak. My first opportunity came with um, a someone pulled out of a fight with Yushin Okami in um, UFC 72. So um, I got to fill in on short notice. Um, about a week's notice to to, uh, to fight in my first UFC fight, and um, I gave him a pretty good fight. I lost the decision and just earned myself a UFC contract. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about here. Why don't you guys ask Tokino who the baddest man on MMA on the ground is? <laughs> Not him no more. I just wanted to come in and prove that I could beat the best guy on the ground. I can beat the best guy on standing up. And baby, that belt is mine. I'm coming for it. And I think you know it now. So yeah, seven strong years there in the mm -hmm. UFC, and then you get hurt, you have an injury, mm -hmm. and then you take a little bit of a break there. What was that time of your life like? Uh, yeah, t well, yeah, 2010 to 2013, I struggled with a, a lot of different injuries, and the most, the, the the hardest one really to overcome was the eye surgeries. I had I had eye surgeries on my on my right eye. So when you got the call from Jorge to maybe the opportunity to get back into MMA yeah. except bare knuckle. What was that process like? So, um, I, I have uh, about five glove boxing matches, the uh, the run for bare knuckle, I had four bare knuckle fights, and I knew at some time in this, this comeback, 
that I wanted to at least kind of finish with a bang and do another MMA fight just for like a bucket list thing and just kind of finish off my career. I was like, well, I, I knew it was gonna happen at some point, so I guess here we are, you know? So the Roy Nelson fight was a, was kind of a tune-up fight, you know? Um, he's very legendary, but, um, but also it was, it was kind of the right fight for me at that time. And then um, all this man has, uh, has mount, you know, it's interesting to see where it's gonna go next. But um, just in this comeback late in the career, fighting a, a legend like Junior Dos Santos um, is just uh, just like the icing on my on my whole career. When I asked Belcher about what's next for him in his career, he told me, quote, I don't want it to end anytime soon, so I'm looking for bigger challenges.